Today we're going to make some cheese momos. Here's our ingredients. Very simple. Flour, carrot, cheese, spinach, salt and oil. We start by making the spinach puree. We take about half a pound of spinach and we put it in our mixer. We add some water to help with the puree. We mix for about 60 seconds until everything is nice and smooth. When the puree becomes thick, we take it out. We take our puree and we mix in three and a half cups of flour. Mix the puree in using your hands and form a ball. When it's ready, cover it up and let it rest for 30 minutes. For our second batch, add some salt into the flour, mix in the water, and knead into the same round ball as before. When it is roughly the right shape, cover it up and let it rest just like the other one for 30 minutes. Next, we start shredding our carrots. Use your shredder and use the finest shape possible. It should be roughly about this shape. We then take our cheese, take it out of the package, and cut it into slimmer pieces. We take the pieces of cheese and we shred them as fine as possible. If you have a stronger machine, you can also use that to shred. It will make a much more consistent and quicker job. Take the cheese and the carrot, mix them together. Mix and distribute as evenly as possible. Add in 5 tablespoons of oil, some salt, and mix again. We go back to both our dough and we knead until smooth. To make the dumpling sheets, first we start with the regular dough. We cut a rectangular piece and we roll until it is an even cylinder. Now take the spinach dough and do the same, but make sure it is the same size as the previous dough. When the spinach dough is the same size, press it flat with your palm. Then roll it even more flat until it can evenly wrap around the other dough. When the spinach dough can be wrapped around, pinch and fold it closed all the way through. Then roll it all until it is about an even 1 inch diameter. Then cut into about 1 inch pieces. When done cutting, sprinkle some flour on top and coat them slightly. When all of the pieces in the batch are coated, press them tightly with your palm. Dust them again lightly, then take one at a time, press them again, and begin to roll into a disc. Make sure that the edges are thinner than the center. Roll until they are round, like this. Take the round sheet and begin filling it with the cheese and the carrot. Then fold and pinch them closed. When all of the sheets have been filled and closed, Dip them slightly in oil and place them tightly around your steamer. With a high flame, boil some water. Leave the momos cooking for about 6 minutes. 
Now for the sauce, we'll need an onion, four tomatoes, some oil, salt, chili powder, turmeric, coriander powder, garlic, dried whole chili, cumin, and mustard seed. We start by slicing the onions. Any simple cut is okay. We then cut the tomatoes into large wedges. Heat the pan and put some oil. When it's hot, put the dried chilies and all the garlic. Fry until you start smelling an aroma. When the smell is strong, add the onion. Fry until slightly brown. Add the tomato wedges and fry for one minute. Afterwards, add the salt and then the turmeric. Mix and fry. Let it cook in a medium flame for 5 minutes or until the tomatoes are soft. When the sauce is soft, add it to the mixer. Mix for as long as needed until it becomes a puree. Heat the pan again and put some oil. Combine the cumin and the mustard and fry it together in a medium flame until it's slightly brown. Next add the chili and coriander powders and fry them only for a few seconds. Be careful not to overburn. Quickly add the puree and mix really well. When the sauce is smooth, it is ready. Now that the momos are cooked, let's take them out. Grab a plate, get some sauce, and try one out. See if it's well cooked and everything inside is nice and melted. Now the most important step. Get some friends and family together <laughs> and enjoy. Oh wow. Beautiful. Look at this. <laughs> mm -hmm.